I was asked a very good question um, in the context of a serious conversation. Where does the expression knock on wood come from? Or why do we knock on wood? I was visiting someone and it was a hypothetical conversation. What if this happened? This could have happened. And yes, we have conversations like this a lot. But in sometimes fear out of um, tempting fate or conjuring up bad luck, people fly across a room to knock on wood. And they say, oh, you know, God forbid this happen. Knock on wood. Where does this expression come from? Uh, there's a few different uh, traditions, whether it was like a, a gypsy spell or um, there was a, in the 19th century, a British play. It was turned into a story and then a game. Kids running around on uh, the playground outside and the first one, or I should say the last one to like touch a tree would be, I don't know, out. So sometimes people just say it's bad luck to talk about something without knocking on wood. If we look at our own tradition and our own teaching, um, we don't believe in luck per se. We don't believe in the um, the importance of avoiding bad luck or trying to find good luck. We don't do that. We ask for God's blessing. When I hear or see someone knocking on wood or hear the expression knock on wood, I immediately, immediately, I think of the cross of Jesus Christ. The cross of Jesus Christ is the sometimes referred to as the tree or when we say uh, knocking on wood, people should be making their cross. Yes, we have to have sometimes serious conversations or you know, we're afraid of tempting fate. We don't really believe in that either. But rather than sprinting across the room and trying to find a door or a table to knock on wood, we should make our cross in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's what we should be doing. We don't believe in luck per se we're not trying to find um you know good luck and say oh um we you know someone is ill or someone is sick or it could have been so much worse knock on wood or god forbid something happened like, make your cross make your cross just we put all our hope and our love and our faith in jesus christ we ask that the cross blesses us we ask that the cross be our protection and our guide and through the mercy of Jesus Christ, we are blessed. We're not worried about nonsense and knocking at a table. God blesses us and we, as believers in Jesus Christ, put all our faith and hope in Him. God bless you. Thank you for the question. It was a beautiful question. God bless you.